Hello YouTube and welcome back to another Roblox Studio tutorial. In this video we're going to be putting the skills we learned in the last video to the test and we're going to be making your game more vibrant with those tools that we learned. We're going to be exploring the point lights and putting them in the game. We're going to be building certain things in our environment. We're going to be adding different classes and objects into our lighting and we're going to and we're going to essentially make our game look better than it was before. And I'd also like to mention before we get into it, they actually added in the technology the option to go back to legacy lighting recently. I don't know if they saw my video and you know I pointed that out and now all of a sudden it's there's a legacy lighting back in here. So I just wanted to point that out since that's not in my video. And so let's get right into it. I'm going to do it the usual way. I'm going to be making stuff and then I'll just pop in and out just to tell you guys what I'm doing. And so let's get right into it. So here, all I am doing is adding lighting class objects that will change how our lighting looks. As we edit these, our in-game environment will change. I am changing the atmosphere to see how it looks as I change the glare and haze, as well as the density, color, and decay. Here I am messing around with a bloom, though I don't know if bloom has much of an impact if it's nighttime. Now I am using color correction to decide if the lighting will be a warm or cool color. I decided to change it to night, and that way I can now use part lights properly. Here I begin building a lantern pole slash post and I'll be using a spotlight for the lantern light itself. Here I use a physics constraint called rope to attach the light to the pole. I will be exploring more of this in future videos though, so stay tuned. Here I am building something along the lines of a porch light, and in this case I will be using the same light as the lantern, which in this case is a spotlight. I want to remind you guys to make sure to subscribe to the channel, like the video, and share my videos, because it helps me a lot. Thanks. If you haven't figured it out already, I am building a dock and this will be home to more lights.
This light is more like a ground light or pole light, and in this case, I am using a point light for it. I changed the lighting properties themselves here, things like the outdoor ambient, brightness, shadow softness, and clock time. Here I mess with the atmosphere a little bit more as to add more of a foggy scenery in the environment. I did this by changing the haze of the atmosphere object. All right, so there you have it. I went through adding lights. I think I went through every single one. I went through surface lights, I went through point lights, and I went through spotlights. So that pretty much sums it up for all the class objects you can add as lights into your parts. And I also went over the lighting class objects that you can add to your actual lighting, which will change the actual environment the entire environment of your entire game things like the atmosphere the sky i changed the bloom and i also went into color correction and changed the sun rays but that isn't really going to change much since i changed it to nighttime and as you can see the atmosphere is looking pretty nice as i edited it and so we've got this nice nighttime scenery scene and I have these lights here. I try to make it a little warm, but then with the color correction, I kind of added that cool effect. So it's like a warm and cool scene. I also added the surface light to a TV, something you might not think of doing. So that's a little unique thing you might want to add to your own game. Got this light that's always been there. And uh, so yeah, just added lights to our game. It looks pretty good. I think it looks way more realistic than before. It used to be plain, but now we have a little style added to our game. It looks more realistic than before. And I hope that ends up holding true for you as well. And I hope this may have helped you, especially if you're looking for help on making your game look better like that. So if this video helped you or you enjoyed it, please make sure to like and subscribe, uh, share the video with other people. Make sure to turn on the notifications to catch when I upload again. And so, see you guys when I upload next. See you.